I just got the Music Bullet portable speaker. It works with any device like phones and iPods. The cost is around 15 to 20 bucks. I've been using it with my cell phones to listen to music, watch YouTube and Netflix videos, and I use it as a speakerphone too. It was good. It really does give your sound a good boost, but it's not going to replace your car's radio or your boombox. It has an on-off switch. It has a power and charge indicator. Blue for on, red for charging. And it has a USB charging socket. On the other side, there's a 20 inch retractable cord with a 3.5 millimeter jack on the end. So let's do a sound test using my Motorola Photon with and without the music bullet. Alright, here's a beat I just made. Well, I made it a while back on my phone <laughs> without the music bullet plugged in let's see how the sound is this is just the Motorola Photon by itself Let's plug in the music bullet. It's already turned on. I can hear a big difference. a big difference. You can probably tell this little speaker will definitely increase the volume, but don't expect the world from a tiny $15 portable speaker with a built-in amplifier and rechargeable battery and a 20-inch retractable cord. If you want to get a more top-of-the-line mini-powered speaker, you probably want to look at the Alltech Lansing IM227 Orbit MP3 speaker. That one costs around 30 bucks. if you follow the link in the description box. You can also read the reviews for both speakers by clicking on the links in the description box. I would definitely recommend the Music Bullet, but if you want the very best, loudest, highest performing sound, I'd probably go with the Alltech Lansing 
just based on customer reviews alone and the price but I'm happy with my music bullet for now